I'm filming this in backwards order because I'm actually home now. I went and got my headshots earlier. Um, but I still wanted to do a video because my mom was able to get footage while we were out. And I kind of wanted to just go through the process of like what that experience is like for getting headshots. Um, quick rundown. A lot of it is like trying to do more natural makeup and having different outfit options that aren't like too distracting too distracting with the fabric and having like layers jackets some people say jewelry some people say don't do jewelry um on the safe side i avoided jewelry because i also like don't really wear jewelry um but everyone has like different opinions about what to do and what not to do with headshots but yeah I also like got together like an inspiration board, like a Google document with the three headshot looks that I wanted to do. And then got inspiration pictures from Pinterest. I definitely overthought headshots. <laughs> Literally like a month or two of overthinking headshots, but we finally did them. We got them and I'm happy. So, um, Anyways, I'm tired. I barely slept. You know how they say you're supposed to get good sleep for your headshots? I did not because my body decided to wake me up like every hour last night. So I've been up since 6 a.m. But it ended up working out by the time I got my, all myself like all together. My skin decided to work today even though I had a pimple like right in my eyebrow which you can't really see now because makeup did its, its work um but yeah some people get makeup artists and people like makeup slash hair artists i ended up um doing my own um because the photographer isn't like doesn't have somebody yet um to do that some photographers do have someone there like they i can't think of the words but um they have someone that if you want to do it like it's an option when you book but yeah um but if it's like your first time getting headshots you can also like talk to your photographer um and if definitely go for someone um like who does acting headshots if you're an actor getting headshots that's definitely recommend i did it this time for my second time i got someone who that was one of the specific things that they did and that was so helpful like it was definitely very helpful to have someone with that experience and i'm excited to see the pictures but now i have to wait a whole week and i don't want to wait because i want to see them <laughs> but it takes time to work um yeah i'm like not good at vlogging if that's not already apparent i'm not good at this but that's kind of gist of things um this is quick but that's kind of the vibe i keep using the word vibe do you ever just like use like a one word like a lot like a, like one day you just keep using the same word like over and over like today i'm using the word vibe a lot but that was the vibe the vibes the vibes were there they were vibing i guess also, my cat was like waiting for me when I got home. She's waiting for me and my mom off over my cat, Echo. Um, she's adorable.
yeah, it's kind of the vibes. Put together non-distracting outfits with layers. Make sure you have options. Natural-ish makeup. And then you go to your session and you work with your photographer and if you have a good photographer, they'll work with you and, you know, be able to communicate what needs to be done in the session. Um, but yeah, I worked, um, words did not happen there. I worked with, um, Benjamin Rose, um, and I will, like, include something. If you're in the New England area and you're looking to get headshots done, I definitely recommend, um, he was super good to work with, so I would recommend that. Um, I'm tired, if you can't already tell. It's also super foggy outside. It's kind of like eerie, but kind of cool. There was a big loud car. This reminds me like every time you do a self tape and you have like loud noises, like cars or the smoking alarm goes off, like some, some annoying noise in the middle of your tape. Just because I have the camera out, so it's making me think of that. Anyways, I will stop ranting and split together the video in ways that you can watch and see how everything came together and yeah. Thanks for watching and if you're interested in acting and filmmaking in the industry and just vlogs or whatever vibes, um, feel free to subscribe. Um, yeah.